Hello Cardi, how's it going? Now as you can see in front of me, I have the four previous versions of Petrify. And you can see there are subtle differences with them all, but the reason I've got them here now is so I can look back, see what needs to improve, take the best parts from each, even though they are sort of similar, and try to come up with something that is going to be the next evolution of the robot. Yeah, let's, let's, let's go with that. So what I'm going to do is take each of them, see how well they did, put all the best points and all the worst, and then try to come up with a design that has the best of everything. So, over to the board. So with writing up all the pros and cons, we've got a bit of a pattern here. The majority of the builds were all in PLA, except for the last one, which was PLAST. But as we go down, the aluminium armour was good in the first one, but the it was my first attempt, so obviously mistakes are going to be made. It was easily pushed, it was easily damaged, and uh, the weapon snapped off really, maybe a little too easily. Oh, yeah. oh. Anyway, second version, same with the aluminium armour, was agile had far better push and power, but again, weapon was easily hit, especially with a horizontal spinner. With the third version, weapon wasn't easily as hit, had titanium on the front, a lot more agile, still good and strong with the pushing, but this time, the armour was actually a little bit thinner than last time. I think it was probably just to make up for the weight of the titanium. <laughs> and the wheel had uh, a bit of a habit of falling off. <laughs> and then for the latest version, the tie armor again and was much faster, but that was because it had the taller and thinner wheels. It was very hard to control and the weapon was knocked off once the lid came off. And rev on backing itself into the screws, you don't want to do that. So it's time to take all the pros, put them together, try and reduce as much of the cons as possible because I know it's going to be hard to get rid of them all, especially for an ant anyway. But let's see what we can do, all the good parts all together, try and reduce this and then we'll get a design going. So, I've printed the body, and... I'm not really happy with it. It's, uh, it seems a little too... blocky, and also that's quite heavy for... And there's only, like, what is it, a 10% in full? Still quite heavy, and that's before the electronics are put in it. I think I might have to go back to the drawing board and see if I can make something a little bit more streamlined. Hmm. So this is pretty much how Petrify looks without the top lid. And yes, I painted the claw silver to keep with the same aesthetic. Looks a lot better than it did before. 
and I've repainted, I've reprinted this lid to go on and to help itself write a set of wings. And of course, it wouldn't be petrify. Let's surmise. Okay, time to see how much it weighs. And with that, Petrify 2 is finally complete. Though I probably won't be calling it Petrify 2, it'll just be Petrify. But, I think I've managed to get rid of all, if not most of the the cons. The four wheel drive is definitely going to be an improvement and judging by the weight I've got about four five grams to play with which means I don't know if I'll be able to get that front armour on the metal armour like I did before but you never know we'll see but I'm really happy with this and uh, I'll be looking forward to fighting with this version Hopefully soon, but we'll see when I can get around to it. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks very much for checking it out. If you want to see some other stuff that I've done, including previous versions of Petrify and some other aren't weights in that, I'll have a link just there. And if you want to subscribe to see what I've got coming next, including hopefully fighting with the sand weight and some other things I've got planned, I'll have a link just there. So that's it for this one. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Does mean I'm gonna have to print a lot of wings if I come up against that spinner again. <laughs>